Okay, lots of updates, lots of things to show you. This is a 1x3 module. It can be used to make a very small 12 volt battery, a 3S battery, or it can be used to convert three cells into one cell. So I wanted to show the connection and how it works. There's a braid that goes all the way across. In this configuration, the cells are all positive up, okay, so there's no flip floppy going on. Okay, and we've got uh, a 35 amp piece of braid that is pressed down with the screw against the latching force to make a good connection. I've been able to get 20 amps per cell. Can probably do more. My meter just kind of maxes out at 20 amps per cell. So that is that. Now, the idea for this is, like I said, to make a small 12 volt battery or to make like something like an e-bike battery. You could put three cells in parallel connected with this and then put a piece of braid connecting this cell group to the next one many of them you can also connect these to the six cell modules I've got that right here this is a bottom half this would be for a 7s kit so you would put three batteries up three batteries down three batteries up etc connect them all this way and then jump over a connection to each series group to make a 7s kit as you can see the the 1x3's connect just fine to the 2x3's. This is the old model, the old revision. Here's the new one. The new one has slightly bigger cell holes so you can easily get cells in and out. It's got holes uh, for like optional bolt holes if you want to do that. And I listened to some customer feedback and I made the male uh, tabs a little smaller so they slide in a lot easier now see you know you still want to take a, a mallet and tap it in but it's not it's not it doesn't feel like it's gonna break anymore to get it in there okay so that's those things also got this tiny little baby module you could use to make the cutest 16 volt battery I found some real nice BMS's that even have this form factor this shape so if you go right on top you can make a tiny little 16 volt battery you can also connect these together like this okay and you can you know slide it in like that and uh, instead of doing a 4s you can put them all up like this connect it all with braid on both sides and each one of these four cell modules becomes a single cell and you can make like a 3s battery connect another one make a 4s battery etc expandable now this I wanted to show this is a complete uh, BMS everything uh, all in one so this is a six cell module now all the cells are are straight up it's not positive negative positive it's just positive 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 because I wanted to introduce the BMS squid this is a easy it's like a learning tool it's an easy to make battery deal and I will explain how it works so I'm going to loosen these screws now I don't even have braid connecting these, I just have the wire connecting just to see if it works and it, it works really well. I do recommend though uh, connecting the cells with braid, why not? Okay, so this is BMS squid. As you can see, you have three positive and negative pairs. You can hook this uh, you can hook these up to any cell groups, okay? So let's say you have a cell group and you've got them all connected on both sides with braid, so it's all one cell, okay? And you just put positive and negative, and you do that for all the cell groups, and you can create an instant 12 volt battery that already has the discharge connector. So, again, to explain it, I'll, I'll take these screws completely off just so you can see what's going on here. Okay, traditionally, if you're wanting to do a 3S battery, you'd have these positive up, these negative up, and these positive up, and you'd, you'd have to connect the cells together, you know, in series to get that configuration. What the BMS squid does is it totally bypasses all of that. The wiring and the work to make the series connections, it's all done internally inside the BMS squid. So all you really need to do is put negative to negative and positive to positive and you do that for each cell group and you've got an instant 
12 volt battery. This BMS squid is good for 10 amps. There are 20 amp versions available. That's pretty much it. I wanted to also give you some, some close ups. Check this out. Okay, so the channel goes all the way through there. I'll put some braid in too. Oh, and I wanted to give you a tip on how to cut this braid because if you just cut it loosely, this will happen, okay? And it, it bunches up and it makes it really hard to use. What I've found, you just hold it real tight right there and you can cut it like that. So let's get this braid out of the way and let's size this just to show you how it works okay we we want to squeeze it tight and then cut there we go so this is how the system works okay so now you've got this really conductive copper braid there and it is ready to be screwed down onto the cells when you screw it down it fights against the latch and it's designed so that you can put more than enough screw force to get a good connection without breaking the latches. It took a lot of trial and error to, get, error to get to that point. But as you can see, the braid's got nowhere else to go other than to clamp down on that positive terminal. Okay, another last thing I wanted to show you. This is a really cool, super cheap USB module. Okay, now you can add this to any single cell or cell group as long as they're all in parallel. And I'll show you how to add that. So this is our positive side. Put the screw in. Alignment is not super important because there is a braid going all the way across there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to touch where it needs to. And then we can go over here. and put the negative in and just like that we can access the energy inside of these cells so what was a relatively useless lithium ion cell group oops sorry is now a little USB battery bank and I will show you that but this module connected if you plug in a micro USB cable here it charges the pack Okay, it will send energy this way into the pack. If you put a, a, a regular U, I think it's USB B connector here, you can charge something from the pack. Okay, so I will show you. I can plug this into a charger, and it will sit there and blink until it's charged. When it's fully charged, it goes solid. So it's a really easy way to build and use batteries.